Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kurtiwada. In this video, we will learn about switch map, concat map and merge map in RxJS for our observables in Angular. So, we have discussed about tab and what are the problems which we have in the tab. I have discussed in my previous video. Now, we will talk about switch map, concat map and merge map, how they help us in handling asynchronous data. So, let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. And first what I'll do is I want to configure a HTTP call with some random data. So for now I'll go with the app module and let me go and import client module that is HTTP client module from at the rate angular slash and you have something called as common slash HTTP and then here we can use HTTP client module and this module I can import in our module section save this and go into our app.component.ts here what i'll do is i'll just create one observable something like of observable and which is of type observable which is of type number is equal to i can use of operator and this of operator i can pass one comma two comma three comma four so i'm passing this four values now what i want to do is i want to subscribe to this one two three four and inside that I want to call an APIs based on this IDs. For example, first API should be base URL slash one, base URL slash two, base URL slash three, base URL slash four. And whatever the response I am getting from it, I want to send it to the subscription part. So how this behaves and how it works for us. So now let me create a constructor and let me inject one HTTP, HTTP colon HTTP client and I want to inject this HTTP client HTTP client and I have injected this client let me go into the constructor now what I will do is I will use of observable and I want to use a pipe operator and inside this pipe operator I want to use some set of operators and I want to subscribe to the value so you will be getting a response and this response will be printed inside our console. So try to understand in a key fashion how this exactly works. So let me save this. And now inside my pipe, first we'll talk about merge map. So let me use merge map. This is an operator which we are getting from RxJS, you can see here. And inside the RxJS, this will receive the value. The value is something like the value which is passed from the off observable. So value you will be getting in a number format. So now merge map will always focus on one thing. It has to return an another observable. Remember that we have to return an another observable. If you are returning a normal number or normal string, that will not be acceptable. If you really want to return any number or any string, you have to convert into observable. For example, in this case, I am getting a number and if I want to return a number, it is not possible. Why? Because merge map is always expecting a return value in an observable format. So now I'll use of operator, which will help me to convert this value into an observable. So this way is possible. But in this normal ways or normal returning, we can use map, we can use tab, we can use filter. But why to use merge map? Because whenever you are doing an asynchronous data handling, then you can use this merge maps. So what I'll do is, just I'll remove this. I don't want to showcase with a simple example. Instead, I want to call an API and get the value from that API and pass it to our subscription value. So in this case, I want to call HTTP dot get and I'll use one URL. So let me go here, copy this JSON placeholder URL and put it over here. Okay. Now, if I pass this URL along with an ID, then you will be getting an object. So if I pass one, you are getting one. If I pass two, you will be getting the details about two. And if I pass three, uh, you will be getting the to-dos list about three. So ID three. Now let me go here. So this will be a dynamic value for us. So let me use a value and save this. Now, this observable will be emitted four times. That is one, two, three, and four. Then it will be calling four API calls. All the four API call response will be returned back to you inside your subscription. So that is how you will be calling an API and this API or HTTP.get is internally an observable. Hence, we are not using any of operator because get is a observable itself so this return statement is an observable hence 
it will resolve this observable and then it will pass the value to our subscription so let me go here and go to our terminal and reload this so what happened let me go to the network so network call didn't happen why let's go here so this is an http call hence you are doing a http call but you are not subscribing to that so let me subscribe to that and return the value from the subscription so this is something like a response and return response so we are using a get call and this is an observable let me go here and clear this off reload something went wrong over here so it is imported from merge map from rxjs so now let me import this merge map properly so let me go here import from rxjs slash operators and let me import that merge map over here merge map and save this so let me go back and you can see you got all the values but if you observe the way how we call this one two three and four but here whatever the result you are getting you are getting in one three four two let me clear this off and see the sequence again let me reload now you got two four one three and let me reload three one four two so why why it's happening because merge map how it works is the sequence will be going at a time that means if you want to call an api all the apis will be hitting at a time but whenever you are getting a response which response will be coming first that will be subscribed first that is like first response will be going into the subscription so let me go to the network call and clear this off try to understand this let me go into slow 3g and let me reload now you will be calling all the four api calls at once you can see here and all are pending so if you see there will be a minute milliseconds difference okay so if you see here time is 2.313 seconds 2.19 2.22 2.16 as per this the first response you got is 1 the second response you got is 4 and the third response is 2 and the fourth response is 3 so the format or the response sequence should be 1 4 th 2 3 1 4 2 3 if you see the output you will be seeing over here 1 4 2 3 that is what the sequence we are expecting that means which one will return first that will be going into the subscription so it will not follow the sequence of request and the response request will be going at a time and the response whatever you are getting that will be taking some time and based on the first response it will go into the subscription that is about merge map try to understand very clearly about this now what i'll do is i'll make it as normal again and now instead of using merge map i'll make it as switch map so how to write the switch map let me copy the same thing Put it over here but i'll command this okay let me use switch app and save this how this switch maps works so merge map will call all the apis and returns the sequence of apis however the response you are getting and how this switch map will work is it will hit apis and if one is emitted and the switch map is not successfully responding then immediately when the second emission happens first observable will be cancelled it will take only the latest observable in this case the first you will be hitting one and then two and then three and then four by the time these are all asynchronous data so it takes some time so one when it called by the time it responds and if i emits value two then one will be cancelled but if one is already success then it will go into the second one so let me go here you can see one cancel two cancel three cancel and you are getting four so let me go here you got four why you are getting four is one is in progress and two has been emitted so one got cancelled so two is in progress three got emitted and two got failed or cancelled three is in progress and four got emitted so three got cancelled only the last one whatever you have that is rendered over here so let me make it as slow 3g so let me go here and reload what will happen let's see so first it emitted all the values and inside that it is taking only the latest observable emitted value so all the previous observables will get cancelled you will be getting only the last updated or the last emitted value of that observable so that is about switch map so let me comment this now if you want to go with the sequence of request and the sequence of re response that means first you have to go with one get the response and then go with two get the response then go with three 
then get the response and go with fork and get, get the response. If you want to go in a sequence of request and sequence of response, then you should not go with merge map, you should not go with switch map, you have to go with concat map. So let me use concat map and the pattern is very same. The pattern is similar to the switch map. Let me paste here and uncomment this, go with concat map and scroll up, save this. Go here, clear this off. Let me go with first no throttling and reload. So you got one, two, three, four. Let me reload again. You got again one, two, three, four. The sequence will never change. Now let me show you by making a slow 3G so that you will understand what, what are calling. Okay, so let me reload. Now, first API has been triggered and it is in pending. Then after successful API, then it went to two, after successful two, it went to three, after successful of three, it went to four. That means it will wait until your request is success or failure. Until that, the concat map will wait for all the responses and the way of execution is the sequence of request. So if you are doing one, two, three, four, it will be responding in one, two, three, four. So that's how you can use concat map. So to summarize, merge map will be calling all the APIs or all the asynchronous calls and it will get the response, how the sequence of response you are getting. So it will not follow the sequence of request. It always follows the sequence of response. Switch map, it will only follow the last updated or emitted value of observable. And then concat map, it will go in a sequence, first in, first out. So you will be going with the first request and you will get the response. Going with the second request, get the response. Third request and get the response. And now, this is something like you are going in a sequence and getting the responses. Now, if you want to do that and if you know how many APIs you have to call that you can handle by using fork join and combine latest as well. So we will talk about combine latest and fork join in my upcoming video. Please watch that for better understanding whenever you have a bulk number of requests already you know what type of request you are doing. So that's how you can use this concat map, switch map and merge map. And this also follows the map filter tab. If you want to write any logic after the switch map, like map or filter, even that works. The chaining of these operators, you can write n number of chaining operators and you will be getting a proper response in the last, but you have to be very careful whenever you are writing a chaining of operators because you have to follow a proper sequence and proper execution of logic. Otherwise the behavior of the application will vary. So that's about Merge map, switch map and concat map. Hope you like my explanation. If you like my video, like, share, subscribe to my channel for more updates. Signing off. Thank you.